Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Doni Maroney and I have the privilege of serving as the Vice President of Student Affairs here at Cardinal Stritch University. I'm pleased to welcome you to the inauguration ceremony of Dr. Daniel J. Schulz as the 10th President of Cardinal Stritch University. The processional was led by students carrying flags from the 38 nations that represent the Stritch student body. We are proud of our diversity and appreciate the opportunity to celebrate on special occasions like today. You can all be seated. Today's gathering offers the opportunity for all members of the Stritch family, students, faculty, staff, alumni, and friends, to affirm the important mission of the university and to offer the support for Dr. Daniel Schultz, who is charged with leading this great institution. All significant events at the university begin with a special ritual, the lighting of the clear candle. I would now like to invite Sister Joanne Schatzlein, liaison to the Sisters of St. Francis of Assisi Corporate Ministries, and Sister Mary Jean Michaels, Stritch's liaison for Franciscan Ministries forward. This lighting of the Clare Candle proclaims and affirms our Catholic Franciscan identity and gives special recognition to the saint to whom, for whom the university was first named in 1937, St. Clare of Assisi. St. Clare, along with the better known St. Francis of Assisi, was a co-founder of the Franciscan tradition. Her name, Claire, means light or bright. This lighting of the care candle reminds us all of the university's commitment to be a light to our world, bringing the Franciscan values of making peace, showing compassion, creating a caring community, and reverencing all of creation. May we, in turn, live these values as members and graduates of the Stritch community, bringing our light to the world. Thank you, sisters. We are honored to welcome so many for today's special milestone in Stritch history. We are grateful to the civic, business, and community leaders, leaders from institutions of higher education, members of the Congregation of the Sisters of St. Francis of Assisi, leaders from the corporate ministries of the Sisters of St. Francis of Assisi, the Catholic Church of Southeastern Wisconsin, as well as the members of the Stritch family, our students, faculty, staff, alumni, and members of the Board of Trustees who have joined with us this afternoon here on campus, but also via live stream. The, Associ the Wisconsin Association of Independent Colleges and Universities is represented today by its president and chief executive officer, Dr. Wel Ralph <laughs> Wangenki. It is an honor to have Dr. Wangenki here with us today. He is a tireless advocate for private higher education in this state. Thank you, Doni. Dr. Scholz, in behalf of the Wisconsin Association of Independent Colleges and Universities, our 23 member institutions of higher learning, and most important, our 54,000 students, I call on you to work together with us in the cause of educational opportunity, to reach out to those who hunger and thirst for wisdom, for understanding, and for rightly ordered lives. We will not succeed in this call if we ourselves do not become students, students who live and love and learn 
As you lead Cardinal Stritch University, we call on you to become a student, always learning. As St. Clair said, we become what we love and, we, and who we love shapes what we become. Blessed and happy are you for having embraced the calling to be a leader and a communica communicator in this great cause. Thank you, Ro. Cardinal Stritch University is defined by the students who have chosen to continue their ed uh, educational journey here. We appreciate them and support their pursuit of an education that will help them transform the world. Please help me in welcoming Emily Marcoux, who will graduate this December with a bachelor's degree in business. Thank you, Vice President Maroney. Good afternoon, everyone. It is an honor to represent the Stritch student body today. Dr. Scholes, throughout your career as an educator, you have demonstrated a sincere commitment to student success. Whether it was at Pius XI High School, St. Francis de Sales Seminary, or here at Stritch, you have always put the needs of your students first. On behalf of all of the current students at Stritch and those who will follow us, thank you. All that we achieve inside and outside the classroom, on and off campus, is made possible because of your dedication to us as students and as people. You are an approachable leader who encourages us to call you Dr. Dan and genuinely cares about us. We are grateful for your leadership and all that you do to make Stritch education possible for us. Thank you. Our next speaker is Elizabeth Richmond, who has earned a bachelor's degree in English from Stritch in 2004. Elizabeth is the vice president of the Stritch Alumni Association and represents more than 40,000 proud Stritch alumni who are transforming the communities around the world where they live, work, serve, and lead. Thank you, Joni. As Vice President Maroney mentioned, I represent more than 40,000 Stritch alumni today. While we may have left Stritch after earning our degrees, I can say for certain that Stritch did not leave us. Our education and experience prepared us to view the world around us through the lens of the Franciscan values that are so integral to Cardinal Stritch University. These values help us carry on the legacy that was established by the Sisters of St. Francis of Assisi in 1937. Dr. Scholes, on behalf of my fellow alumni, we are here to support you and your vision for the university that we love. We know how much you love Stritch too and are excited to work with you. Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. I love that. Mark Quistorf is a member of the Stritch class of 2007 and has served as the university's director of financial aid since 2014. Please welcome Mark. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Stritch. I am honored to represent the Stritch staff today. Dr. Scholes, I've enjoyed meeting you first as a Stritch student and then becoming your colleague. On behalf of all Stritch staff members, here are just some of the characteristics that we appreciate about you. You respect our professional expertise. You not only seek our opinion, but you really listen to us. You take an interest in our personal lives and encourage balance. You deeply understand the university's history and live out the Franciscan values daily. You are the personification of a humble servant leader, and we are grateful that you are our leader. Thank you. Thank you. 
sharing greetings on behalf of the Stritch faculty is Dr. Corey Thompson, the president of the university's faculty council. Dr. Thompson is a 2007 Stritch graduate and works with education majors in the colleges of undergraduate and graduate studies. Hello, everyone. It is a great honor to not only serve as the president of the university's faculty council, but to represent my colleagues today. Those of us who work at Stritch understand what a very special community we belong to. Dr. Dan Scholes is one of the main reasons Stritch is so special. As a man who has committed his entire professional career to education, Dr. Scholes understands the complex work of college faculty because he has walked in our shoes. While many other colleges and universities faced uncertainty in the early days of the COVID pandemic, Dr. Scholes provided a calm voice of reason. He was available to us when we had countless questions about the impact of COVID on our campus and classrooms. And as Mark mentioned, he truly listened to us. When there are differences of opinion, which is bound to happen on any college campus, Dr. Scholes calmly and reassuringly builds consensus by reminding us what must be at the center of all that we do, our students. He may not be in the classroom on a regular basis any longer, but Dr. Schultz definitely is still teaching those of us who are privileged to call him a colleague. Thank you. It is now my privilege to introduce to you Dr. Mary Kellner, who earned a doctoral degree from Stritch in 2007 and has served on the university's board of trustees since 2009. Dr. Kellner will share remarks on behalf of the Board of Trustees. Thank you, Doni. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Stritch. Dr. Schultz, on behalf of dedicated men and women who serve on the Cardinal Stritch University Board of Trustees, I am here today to pledge our support of your leadership of Cardinal Stritch University. At the core of our service is to provide for the well being of the university and its students. We are committed to upholding the university's mission and values, fulfilling our fiduciary responsibility, providing counsel to you and other university leaders, advocating for the university's students, faculty, staff, and alumni, its academic programs, student services and activities and working alongside you to ensure a strict education is accessible to students for generations to come. During your time at Stritch, you've shown exemplary leadership and a student first focus. As acting and interim president since May 2020, you helped lead Stritch through a global pandemic while ensuring the university's response to COVID reflected the university's Franciscan values. In all of our work and discussions, you remind us how we must remain focused on our students and their success. Dr. Schultz, I congratulate you and thank you for all that you have done and continue to do for Cardinal Stritch University. Since 1937, the Sisters of St. Francis of Assisi have been the spirit of and inspiration for Cardinal Stritch University. We are blessed to be joined today by many of the sisters who serve and have served at Stritch. Please join me in a round of applause for the Sisters of St. Francis of Assisi. The administrative leadership team of the sisters with us today includes the director of the congregation, Sister Diana uh, De Bruin, the associate dire directors, Sisters Ellen Carr and Catherine Dean Strandell, a two-time Stritch alumna. Sister Diana De Bruin will share greetings on behalf of the sisters. Good afternoon, everyone. It is my pleasure to be with you this afternoon 
to celebrate this very special day in the history of Cardinal Stritch University. As the Sisters of St. Francis of Assisi, our mission is rooted in our common search for a life of total dependence upon God and striving to live in obedience to the gospel values. Cardinal Stritch University is one of 10 corporate ministries we sponsor as a congregation. Each of these ministries strives toward living out the mission of the Sisters of St. Francis of Assisi in the specific work of the ministry. Mother Bartholomew Frederick founded St. Clair College in 1937 as a teacher training school for members of our congregation. Throughout its history, first as St. Clair College, then as Cardinal Stritch College, and now as Cardinal Stritch University, the institution has remained grounded in the values of Catholic Christianity and inspired by the spirit of both St. Francis and St. Clair of Assisi and the heritage of the Sisters of St. Francis of Assisi. The university is an academic community called to transform individuals to approve the better things as they discover their purpose in life. Stritch demonstrates this commitment by encouraging ap academic excellence along with intellectual, spiritual, and social growth among its entire community. Students, faculty, and staff of all ages, faiths, and ethnic backgrounds. We can think of no better leader and educator than Dr. Dan Schulz to serve as president of Cardinal Stritch University to help ensure the legacy of the sisters and that it carries on through the meaningful work of the students, faculty, staff, and all associated with this tremendous and transformational institution. Dr. Scholes, on behalf of the Sisters of St. Francis of Assisi, we share our prayerful best wishes with you today and throughout your presidency. Thank you, Sister Diana. The Sisters of St. Francis of Assisi, our founders and sponsors, gifted the Franciscan values to Cardinal Stritch University through the, their leadership, work, and example throughout the generations and continue to inspire us. Thank you so much. Please join me in a round of applause for all of the individuals who shared their greetings today. So you ready? <laughs> Here we go. We'll now proceed to the formal investiture of the president led by Mr. Gerard Randall, co-chair to the university's board of trustees. I invite Mr. Randall, Sister Catherine Dean Strandell, Sister Mary Lee Schneider, Dr. Mary Kellner, and Dr. Dan Schultz to come forward. Good afternoon, everyone. As Doni mentioned, my name is Gerard Randall, and I've had the honor of serving on the Cardinal Stritch University Board of Trustees since 2007. I would like to invite Sister Catherine Dean Strandell forward for an affirmation of the university's Franciscan values. Thank you, Gerard. The Sisters of St. Francis of Assisi, who founded and sponsor Cardinal Stritch University, remain committed to the university's mission that is rooted in the liberal arts tradition of transforming lives and communities through servant leadership, learning, and service. 
On this day, when we celebrate the inauguration of President Daniel Scholz, we also affirm the Franciscan values of creating a caring community, making peace, showing compassion, and reverencing all of creation. And so I ask you, Dr. Daniel John Schultz, to respond, I will, to this question. As you accept the responsibilities of the Office of President of Cardinal Stritch University, will you commit yourself to the university's mission and its Franciscan values, listening with open mind and heart, collaboratively discerning the better things, and leading the university community into a future that continues its caring, compassionate, peacemaking, and reverencing of all God's creation? I will. Thank you, Dr. Schultz. <laughs> Thank you, Sister Catherine Dean. The presentation of a chain of office and a presidential medallion is a tradition that dates back for centuries. The heads of rectors of medieval universities were formally invested with this symbol of authority and responsibility for the institution. The Stritch presidential medallion symbolizes a continuity of authority and responsibility for all presidents of the university present and future. The medallion, which you can see in front of the podium here, is a sterling silver replica of the university seal. It is worn by the president at all official university functions and signifies academic authority. In 1997, when Stritch became a university, a new seal was designed by faculty members in the Stritch art department. The seal features a lamp at its center in honor of St. Clair of Assisi. The pectoral cross, which is a symbol of a prelate, references Samuel Cardinal Stritch, the former Archbishop of Milwaukee, who encouraged and supported the Sisters of St. Francis of Assisi in their efforts to establish a college in 1937. Oak and laurel reeds, traditional symbols of artistic athletic and intellectual growth and excellence, flank the shield and support the banner that bears the university motto taken from St. Paul's letter to the Philippians, U probitus pior shoria. I got that wrong. Or to approve the better things. <laughs> Stritch President Emerita, Sister Mary Lee Schneider, Director of the Congregation of the Sisters of St. Francis of Assisi, Sister Diana De Bruin, and co-chair of the Cardinal Stritch Board of Trustees, Dr. Mary Kellner, will present the Stritch Presidential Medallion that formally conveys the authority and the responsibility for the university to Dr. Daniel Scholes. <laughs> the mace is a symbol of the university's authority. It is presented to the president, who is the guardian of the academic, human, spiritual, financial, and physical resources of this institution. Oh, Emphasis yeah. on <laughs> Sister Diana De Bruin and Dr. Mary Kellner will now present the mace to Dr. Scholes, officially entrusting the protection and care of Cardinal Stritch University to him.
Thank you all so very much. And now we ask everyone to stand if you are able. And I invite Most Reverend Jerome Lestecki, Archbishop, Archbishop of Milwaukee, to lead us in a blessing for Dr. Scholz. Brothers and sisters, the ancient Jewish and Christian tradition of blessing acknowledges the goodness, love, and mercy of God, who bestows gifts in abundance upon the world and all who dwell in it. God's goodness has indeed been shown to the people of southeastern Wisconsin through the Sisters of St. Francis of Assisi and Cardinal Stritch University. So now, let us pray for the university and its new president. And if you are able, um, please extend your hand in a blessing. Gracious and loving God, you gave St. Francis and St. Clair of Assisi a vision of the gospel of Jesus Christ that transformed them. Trusting humbly and entirely in your providential love, they gave themselves to the service of all your people, especially those suffering from disease or poverty, or otherwise excluded from the power structures of society. We ask you to bless the Cardinal Stritch University community and its newly installed president, Dr. Daniel John Schulz, as we celebrate the new, this newest chapter of the university's life. As the university community and President Schulz commit themselves anew to the mission of the university, may your spirit guide them along the path of the gospel and along the path of Francis and Claire, so that all their work may be to the good of humanity and all your creation and to the praise, to the praise of your holy name. We ask all of this of you, Lord God, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Archbishop Lestecki. It is now my pleasure to introduce the 10th president of Cardinal Stritch University, Dr. Daniel John Schultz. So you're all clapping. You're all clapping. I haven't even told you how wonderful he is. Let's begin. A native of West Allis, Wisconsin, Dr. Scholz came to Cardinal Stritch University in 2004 and has served as a tenured faculty member and chair of the Religious Studies Department, executive director of the St. Clair Center for Ministry and Leadership, and dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. He became the university's vice president for academic affairs in 2018. On June 28, 2021, Dr. Scholz was named president after serving as an acting and interim president since 2020. He has taught at the high school, collegiate, and graduate school levels for more than 35 years. Dan began teaching theology in 1985 at Pius XI High School in Milwaukee where he also served as theology department chair for 10 years. He taught biblical studies at St. Francis of DeSales Seminary for six years before coming to Stretch. Dr. Scholz holds a bachelor's degree from the University of Wisconsin-Eau Claire in psychology and comparative religions and a master's degree in Christian theology from Mundelein College. He earned a doctorate from Marquette University in biblical theology. Dan is an active member of the Catholic Biblical Society and the Society of Biblical Literature, where he published three books and co-authored liturgical training workshops. Dan and his wife, Bonnie, who did a beautiful job cantering mass, have three adult children, Ray, Andrew, and Danny. 
and they are members of the Christ King Parish in Wauwatosa. Now, friends, please help me welcome Dr. Dan Schultz for his inauguration address. Thank you, thank you. I haven't said anything yet. <laughs> But thank you. Thank you all for being here on this really special day for our university. And thank you, Doni. Doni is just one of the many talented professionals and educators I am blessed to work with every day here at Stritch. Like me, many of you know firsthand how fortunate our university has been to have such gifted faculty and staff serving our students and our community. Their commitment is commendable. It is my privilege to serve alongside my colleagues and help carry on the legacy that was started by the Sisters of St. Francis of Assisi in 1937. I would like to thank all of those who spoke on behalf of various communities this afternoon. I'm truly humbled by the good wishes you shared. As I was preparing my marks for this afternoon, I found myself drawn to a passage from the first book of Joshua, the first chapter. Be strong and steadfast. Do not fear nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. The Lord spoke these words to Joshua in the immediate aftermath of the death of Moses, Joshua's trusted friend and mentor. You see, Joshua was chosen to be Moses' successor and lead the Israelites out of the desert, across the Jordan River, and into the Promised Land. These simple words, be strong and steadfast, do not be afraid nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go, was the divine promise of assistance that grounded and focused Joshua for the mission that was ahead for him and his fellow Israelites. Like Joshua, I stand on the shoulders of past leaders, like Mother Bartholomew Frederick, our founding president, Sister Aquin, Sister Ignatia, Sister Camille, and Sister Mary Lee. Each of these religious women helped build the foundation and legacy of Cardinal Stritch University. Like Joshua, I trust the Lord's promise of fidelity and providence, as did these past presidents before me. There are so many people I want to thank for this special day. Of course, I want to begin with my family, my wife, Bonnie, my three children, Ray, his fiance, Jay, Andrew and Danielle. My support comes daily from them and they bring me great joy, reminding me of what's truly important in life. Two of my siblings are here, two of my favorite sisters, Joanne and Jane, <laughs> since they're the only two that showed up, but I'm so happy they're here. They know me so well and yet they still love me. The leadership of the Sisters of St. Francis of Assisi, who have entrusted this great institution to me for the current chapter in its storied history. Sister Diana de Bruin, director of the congregation, Sister Ellen Carr, and Sister Catherine Dean Strandell. I'm also grateful for Sister Joanne Schatzlein, our li liaison to the OSF leadership, and Sisters Michael, Sisters Mary Jean Michael, Sister Margaret Ruddy, and Sister Mary Lee Schneider. We are so fortunate to have these three women still on our campus. They help us define what it means to be Stritch. The Stritch Board of Trustees with our co-chairs, Dr. Mary Kellner and Gerard Randall, whose collective wisdom, counsel, support, and adequacy are so important to the success of this university. Our current students who have chosen Stritch for their part of this educational journey, we are indebted to them for believing that this is the best environment to prepare them for their future. The more than 40,000 Stritch alumni worldwide who are remarkable ambas ambassadors of this alma mater. Members of the Archdiocese of Milwaukee here today, under the leadership of Archbishop Jerome Lestecki, Bishops Jeff Haynes and Bishop Jim Shurman, and many of our priest friends and lay leaders who are co-workers in the Vineyard of the Lord, and who believe in our university, its people, programs, and mission. My colleagues in higher ed who have supported me throughout my career and as I've transitioned to the role of the president. 
and our partners and friends who demonstrate their support for the university in countless ways and understand well the integral role Stritch plays in our greater community. As I reflected on my own vision for Cardinal Stritch University, my mind often wandered back to a series of meetings I was invited to attend throughout the 2010-2011 academic year. That year, the sisters who were teaching and working on our campus began forming their legacy vision statement for Stritch in anticipation of our 75th anniversary celebration and knowing that one day soon they would be leaving Stritch in the hands of lay faculty and staff. As chair of the Religious Studies Department and director of the St. Clair Center at the time, I was invited to attend these meetings with several other lay university leaders. Sisters in the boardroom that year included Sister Camille Claibon, Sister Mary Lee Schneider, Sister Mary Ann Polisak, Sister Margaret Ruddy, Sister Adele Thibodeau, Sister Margaret Klotz, Sister Kenise Kolpeck, Sister Justine Peter, and Sister Coletta Dunn. I and others were privileged to watch these religious women debate back and forth their Franciscan vision for Stritch with only occasional comments from us laity. I recall sensing often that history and legacy was simultaneously unfolding. So I mostly listened and kept my mouth shut. <laughs> After these meetings, I would walk with Sister Justine and Sister Coletta back to our offices in Bonaventure Hall. We often debriefed what was just discussed by the sisters. In one of our last meetings of that year, when the vision statement had reached its final form, on our usual walk back to our office, as we stepped out of the elevator, Sister Justine gently held my arm. And with a now firm grip, she said to me, Daniel, don't mess this up. <laughs> I remember smiling at Sister Justine, knowing that she was simultaneously scolding me and entrusting me. It was hard not to love these Franciscan sisters. And so my vision for Cardinal Stritch University begins with affirming the vision of the original sisters who founded this great institution, then known as St. Clair College in 1937, and the heart of the vision statement created 10 years ago by our more recent sisters. As a liberal arts institution and as an academic community, we are rooted in the values of Catholic Christianity and inspired by the spirit of St. Francis and St. Clair of Assisi and the heritage of the sisters of St. Francis of Assisi and called to transform individuals to approve the better things as they discover their purpose in life. As an institution of higher ed grounded in the liberal arts, our focus is centered on knowledge, skills, and disposition. The acquisition of knowledge is core to what we do. We are committed to developing students' skills so they are ready for the workplace and for life. And we do all of this through the Franciscan disposition to view the world around us with our four Franciscan values, creating a caring community, making peace, showing compassion, and reverencing all of God's creation. Any vision for Stritch beyond this fundamental vision handed on to us by the sisters must confront the reality of higher education today. In recent years, as politicians, leaders in businesses and industries, and parents and students themselves began to question, seriously began to question the value and purpose of a college degree. We in higher ed have been taking a serious and sobering look at improving our retention and graduation rates, eliminating the self-made barriers that make com coming to college and graduating difficult for far too many students, finding creative financial solutions to help offset the high cost of a college degree, and making sure our graduates are ready for successful employment with the necessary skills, knowledge, and disposition for a strong and healthy, healthy workforce. Higher education has learned that to confront these challenges and improve student success, we can no longer live within our own walls and classrooms. We simply must learn how to partner with businesses, 
industries, and other education institutions for the benefit of our students and the benefit of larger society. But in higher education, partnering outside ourselves is a big learning curve. Fortunately, some of this good work has already begun. Recently formed groups such as HERA, Higher Education Regional Alliance, a group of 18 two and four year public and private colleges and universities in Southeast Wisconsin collectively are facing these challenges. As a group, we are in dialogue with business and industry leaders throughout our region, finding ways to creatively and productively work together. This is a good example of the changing landscape in higher education. Stritch's participation in this group is essential for our future. Our partnership with the Archdiocese of Milwaukee and our Catholic high schools offers one of the best examples of a partnership that benefits our larger community and supports the heart of our mission as a Catholic Franciscan institution. Our concurrent enrollment program allows students in our Catholic high schools to take Stritch courses for both high school and college credit at a substantially reduced tuition rate, thus making college more affordable and time to completion of a four-year degree more possible. Through the St. Clair Center, our Sustaining the Mission programs offers religious education and training for nearly 2,500 K through 12 Catholic school teachers. Additional bilingual programming offers English speaking and Spanish speaking laity a deeper understanding of our Catholic faith and tradition. In the years to come, we hope to continue to strengthen and deepen this partnership with the Archdiocese and our Catholic schools. There is so much good work to be accomplished in the education and formation of our Catholic school teachers and the laity who work in our parishes and other societal ministries. Stritch is committed to this Archdiocesan Alliance. We will also continue to partner with our colleagues in MPS and other public school districts, looking for creative and effective ways to help overcome the achievement gap and help fill teacher pipelines through creative and innovative programs such as our PMAC program. We will continue to seek nursing and health science partnerships that go beyond clinical placements and include degree completion and advanced degrees delivered conveniently in their clinical settings like we currently enjoy at Freighter Hospital. We'll also continue to partner with our area nonprofits, such as the Hunger Task Force, to work with our nursing students in education and training on the idea of hunger. In addition to our new and deepening relationships and partnerships, Stritch must achieve a new level of engagement with our nearly 40,000 alumni and many benefactors. So many of our alumni have used their Stritch degree to accomplish remarkable careers. These men and women bore the fruit of a Stritch education and we want their important stories to become known. And I want to tell them the story of our students, of their hopes and their aspirations. And our benefactors deserve no less. So this fall, we are beginning an alumni and a benefactor tour locally in Milwaukee and the surrounding regions and in the winter and spring, launch a national alumni benefactor tour beginning in Washington, D.C. and stopping in the states of Florida, Arizona, and California. I want these many alumni and benefactors to meet the new president of Cardinal Stritch University and hear from me personally the passion and love we share for this great university, its students, and its mission. Finally, I want to speak to one of the more serious problems facing Milwaukee in its city and in its many suburbs, illiteracy. The inability of many of our K-12 students to read and write at grade level has reached epidemic levels. We see how illiteracy is fuel that drives poverty and contributes to the spread of violence and crime in our city and beyond. As many of you know, our Sisters of St. Francis of Assisi have long been recognized for their pioneering efforts and expertise in the field of special education and reading. Today, Stritch has an assessment and intervention literacy, literacy program called Clifftops that achieves remarkable results in improving literacy skills with students. 
It is often said proudly among our faculty and staff that Stritch serves the underserved. I can think of no better example of an underserved community than those who cannot adequately read or write. And so Stritch is committed to building urban literacy centers in Milwaukee, headquartered out of our own literacy center here on campus to help eradicate the plague of illiteracy among our youth. Partnerships with MPS, charter schools, and other literacy agencies will show that Stritch is not only interested in helping our students, we are committed to building a better future for the people of Milwaukee and Southeast Wisconsin. It's annoying when the pages stick together. <laughs> I will work with all members of the Stritch family, the sisters, our board, students, faculty, staff, alumni, and benefactors, and our partners locally, regionally, and nationally to ensure our students are able to fulfill their dreams and make a meaningful and lasting difference in this world. But as you know, I can't do this work alone. That is why I invite all of you gathered here to join me in ensuring this treasured higher education institution that has served so many for more than eight decades continues to build on its legacy. In my role as Stritch president, I am here to serve our students and I'm here to serve you as well. We may be tucked away on the beautiful North shore of Lake Michigan, but we are not on an island. And I understand the importance of collaborating with you for our shared success and for the good of our community that we all call home. I ask for your continued prayers in my service as president of Cardinal Stritch University. On this day, I feel so blessed by God's providence and grace, and I am so hopeful for the future of this great university. Truly, today, my cup runneth over. Pace Benny, peace and all good, and may God bless you. Thank you, Dr. Schultz. We appreciate, we are, we are all appreciative of your leadership and eager for the next great chapter in this university's history. At this time, I'd like to introduce Ms. Thelma A. Sayas, a member of the Stritch Board of Trustees since 2014, who will share our closing remarks. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Thelma. <laughs> I'm so delighted to be here today and have the opportunity to hear from you, Mr. President, your great vision of this institution. I join with other members of the Board of Trustees to say to you, we got your back, we're here with you, we'll walk the journey, and we look forward to the extraordinary things we'll continue to do at this university under your leadership. I have the privilege today to make a very special announcement. Can you imagine they had a secret and they gave it to me? <laughs> so my, the zip is off my mouth. I'm going to make the announcement today. An announcement that echoes and shows the kind of confidence we have in the, our new president and the academic and administrative team of this incredible university. You met Dr. Mary Kelder earlier today as uh, when she came up to uh, induct our new president. Dr. Kelder, along with her husband, Ted, are extraordinary leaders in this community. They are known across the state and across this community for the kind of work they do and the philanthropy of what they give day in and day out. You, I want you to tell everyone when you leave here today that you are the first one to publicly hear this extraordinary news. It is my honor to tell you that Mary and Ted are announcing the largest gift in the history of this university. The largest gift in the history of this university. Now you can tell everyone how much it is. Ted and Mary Keller is giving a gift of three 
one, two, three million dollars.